In 1838, Maryland's Jesuit priests sold hundreds of men, women, and children to Louisiana sugar plantations to pay off their debts and to raise money for the construction of Georgetown University. This was the second largest sale of human beings in American history. This project refers to the specific group of enslaved people as the GU-272. Though the GU-272 faced incredible hardship, most didn't perish. They married, raised children, built their own houses, and continued to practice their Catholic faith. Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation freed them in 1863, but they and their descendants would have to negotiate a politically, economically, and culturally hostile landscape for many years to come. The GU-272 Memory Project, which is run by American ancestors, has located more than 9,000 GU-272 descendants through genealogical research. This presentation introduces the website and the tools anyone can use to start searching for their GU-272 ancestor. The sale of the GU-272 was fully documented in original letters and materials that were kept in the university archives. In the fall of 2015, as Harvard, Columbia, Brown, and other universities began to admit their past involvement in slavery, students at Georgetown began demanding to know the truth about rumors of past slavery activities on their campus. The university established a working group to investigate the matter. Student demonstrations that fall lent the efforts increased urgency, as did the formation of an independent nonprofit group called Georgetown Memory Project. The Georgetown Memory Project was formed by a group of alumni led by Richard Cellini, a Massachusetts lawyer and entrepreneur in the tech industry. Cellini raised money to hire genealogists to trace descendants of the Georgetown slaves. Genealogists trace more than 200 of the original enslaved people and over 8,000 descendants, both living and deceased. The GU-272 Memory Project website is located at the URL gu272.americanancestors.org. It's a free public resource for anyone interested in the GU-272 and in African American family history. It features a searchable database of record-based genealogical information on the GU-272 and their descendants. It also features PDFs by family groups which list all the generations in a family, and function-rich family trees. The website also features more than 40 interviews with living descendants of the GU-272. The interviews on the website record the life experience of GU-272 descendants currently living in Maryland, Louisiana, California, and other locations. Placed alongside the genealogical data and the historical narrative of the GU-272, these oral histories are invaluable resources for the descendant community, for genealogists, historians, scholars, and the public at large. The database contains 50 volumes with nearly 100 images, over 10,000 records, and 32,000 searchable names. The record types that are indexed include birth, baptism, marriage, death, and burial. All available names, including parents and spouses, are included in the index and are searchable. In addition to the searchable database, each of the family groups can be viewed as trees in American Ancestries, our online family tree builder program. 32 of the 49 family groups have individual pages on the website. These pages are ordered alphabetically by family name, and they feature several interesting content areas. First, there's a biography of the head of the family, Next, there's a link directly to that family's volume in the searchable database. You can download a PDF of that person's entire family history. And finally, you can explore that person's family tree in TREES, our family tree software program. In addition to all the GU-272 information on this site, you'll find perspectives on African-American family history research from leading genealogists columns that delve into different aspects of African-American family history research, and guidance on how to begin or continue your own genealogical journey. <music>